Joshua Fund founder and chairman Joel C. Rosenberg gives us insight to the ways the church should respond in light of prophecy. God is giving us advance warning of what's coming so that we're prepared, so that we repent, so that we pray and fast and draw closer to the word, closer, closer to the Lord, so that we preach the gospel, so we make disciples, so we encourage our brothers and sisters in, uh, on the front lines, that we help them, that we support them, that we, that we do what we can to get ready to preach the gospel, to make disciples, to train pastors, to plant congregations, as well as to show acts of compassion to those who may not yet know the Lord Jesus Christ, the poor and the needy, widows and orphans, sur survivors of, of terror and war. That's the job of the church. If we don't do it, who else is going to do it? More importantly, more importantly, this was the command of our Savior, our commander-in-chief, the, the God of the universe, and we're going to stand before Jesus Christ one day. And if we're born again, if we've given our life wholly and completely to Christ, we will go to heaven and we will stay in heaven forever and ever, not because we were, did humanitarian relief and not because we preached the gospel and not because we were, did any righteous act, but because he did the righteous act for us. We are not saved by our works, but Ephesians chapter 2 says we are saved for good works. Good works that God prepared beforehand for us to do. There are things that the Bible teaches us that he expects us to do. And that if we love him, we will obey him. That's what Jesus said, right? If you love me, you will obey me. He says at one point, why do you say, Lord, Lord, and not do what I say? So we're going to stand before Jesus Christ if you're born again tonight, if you've given your life wholly and completely to Christ, if you've received him as your heart, into your heart by faith, you're saved. You're going to heaven. The question is, are you ready to stand before Jesus face to face and give an account for what you did after you got saved? Blessed is he who reads and who hear the words of this prophecy, the text says, and heed the things which are written in it, for the time is near. See, it's not enough just to read the Word of God. Some of you don't read the Word of God. You, you need to read the Word of God. Some of you read it, but don't heed it. It's read and heed. Okay? It's not just read. And some of you, not big readers, not big fans, but you've got audio. Okay. It says, blessed he who reads and those who hear the words of prophecy. God is doing some amazing things in our world today through the audio Bibles in more than 700 different languages, including Hebrew, including Arabic, including Russian, including Amharic, the language of Ethiopia, including uh, Farsi, the language of Iran. God is using audio Bibles to bring many into the kingdom. Blessed is he who reads and those who hear the words of the prophecy and heed the things which are written in it, for the time is near. Subscribe to our videos by clicking the subscribe button. You'll find some videos that we've chosen specifically for you. And if this is a ministry that you'd like to support financially, just make a tax deductible donation by clicking here to visit our giving page. Thank you. We look forward to partnering with you to bless Israel and her neighbors in the name of Jesus.